Labor Savings Plan for the Holidays. Steve Hansen here, co-founder of the janitorialstore.com and myhousecleaningbiz.com. Say, have you ever thought of how you can save labor on uh, during the holidays? What we used to do is that we would, uh, uh, whenever there would be a holiday coming up, we'd always plan for that. Meaning that we knew our staff always wanted to get off early. Uh, so, and everybody, everybody else in the offices, they were typically always light also. You know, there's a very small amount of people that even went into the office the day before and or after a holiday. So what we would do is that we would plan ahead of time and we would make sure that we had our, our facilities looking really good. So on the day before uh, the holiday, we were able to go in there and just do a general clean and be in and out uh, in no time at all. You know, and uh, it was, you know, we saved uh, money on labor. And, uh, you know, it could be quite significant. So if you think of it this way, if you had, let's say, 100 man hours uh, per night, and uh, you, let's say the average wage is about $15 per hour, that means that you're, you're paying about $1,500 a night just in labor. So just imagine what would happen if you were able to save 25% of that. So by implementing a plan to where you're only doing a basic general clean uh, in the facility the day before uh, the holiday. Uh, now if you're able to do that, uh, in this case 25% of that would be $375. So you know that's a heck of a good savings for labor in one night. So and if you're able to do that you know two, three, four, five times or, or more uh, during a year, you can see where you can save uh, some significant money. Now that also will depend on the size of your business. Obviously companies with only two employees, you know, sure that, uh, you know, you're not going to save as much, you know, as far as dollar wise, but it's all relative to the size of your business. It doesn't matter if you have two employees or if you have, uh, you know, 200 employees. But in any case, uh, you know, if you, uh, for example, you know, uh, we got the, the 100 man hours, well just imagine if you had uh, 2,000 man hours. Uh, you can imagine just what that savings would be in labor that you would have. Now something else to think about is that our labor is always tied to other expenses such as insurance and workman's comp and some of these other things. So just think if we can save some man hours and save some labor hours that will help reduce those costs also. So something to think about. Um, you know anytime you can make a little extra money and put some money back in your pocket you know or save it you know, good for us. So, uh, hopefully you found this uh, tip uh, useful. If you did, go ahead and click on the like and share button. And as always, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, go ahead and click on the, the YouTube uh, or the, uh, uh, the channel link. And uh, you'll find uh, hundreds of videos on how to build a successful cleaning company. Until then, we'll see ya.